Mechabellum patch notes. June 2nd. Okay. Throughout the early access period, we'll regularly add new game content and regular and and regularly make large scale balance adjustments based on the data and feedback collected. If you're interested in our update plans and why we have made various balance decisions, check out our regular development log on Steam. Survival mode. Now when a unit uses all of its durability, the full cost will be refunded. Okay. We, we played a little bit of survival mode a couple minutes ago while the servers were down, but I don't think it's a mode that is all that interesting. Not very looking, not gonna play more of it because of this change. Uh, units in battle, Overlord. HP increased by 3%. The price of Overlord artillery has been adjusted from 250 to 300. That's the one that makes it do extra damage to ground stuff and like kill the, the big units. Put it in ChatGPT to make them formatted better. Yeah, they got like bold all over the place. Headers on, yeah, the, the formatting is. <laughs> formatting is a bit silly. Oh wait, this is part of the same note. The price of jump drive has been adjusted from 150 to 200. Okay. So the upgrades on Overlord are more expensive, and it really did feel like Overlord didn't get online until it got at least one of the upgrades. Photon missions are more expensive too. Yeah. So Mothership... Mothership got slightly nerfed. 26 to 28, so that second wave of wasps comes out a couple seconds slower. Bolds are for the cards, and bolds are for denoting units. Bolds are for everything. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know how much the 3% HP matters. This, like, kind of a little bit cancels this out slightly a teensy tiny bit <laughs> kind of it probably doesn't keep it alive for two more seconds but it makes it less of a two second nerf uh let's see uh, melting point hp increased by three percent base range adjusted from 110 to 115 does this change which interactions does this change What has 110 range? Overlord. Hacker. Interesting. So now it outranges Overlord? I don't know how much that matters. I feel like it's always about, can you clear the stuff around the Overlord when it's Melting Point versus Overlord? Rather than being worried about getting in range. But I guess it matters for, like, cross maps. When you both pop the tower, the Overlord has to crawl across the map, the Melting Point starts shooting sooner. And you start applying your damage faster, so maybe you win the race now. Melting Point's always been anti-Overlord, so it matters. I'm not saying it doesn't... I'm saying I don't know how much it changes the interaction. Like, I don't know how often range is the reason Melting Point loses to Overlord. I think usually when Melting Point is losing to Overlord, it's because there was too much junk getting in the way. But it might matter for, like, those cross-map crawls. I could see that. Do even that? I don't know. The Overlord's usually going to move slower than the other stuff around it. Uh, where else are we? Melting point, HP, range, energy diffraction, range. Range reduction adjusted from 25 to 30. This is the target 5 things, right? So you lose more range if you want to get a multi-target. So this is canceling out with this when you get the diffraction. You lose the extra range that you would have gotten. So not a change to energy diffraction melting point, but a change to base melting point and the diffractionless. Rhino! Photon coating. Price adjusted from 250 to 300. This makes it a lot harder to fit into things. I like this change a lot. Final Blitz more expensive too. Power armor more expensive too. 
and the rhino attack slowdown. Good lord. Okay, that is a lot of nerfs to rhino. That is... Whoa. <laughs> uh... So before it was good tank and DPS when it got in. Now its damage is significantly worse. And getting it to tank is a lot more expensive. It no longer fits in as cleanly on turn three to go unlock Rhino, Photon Coding, Rhino, Rhino. It's only good single target. Uh... Oh, I somehow completely missed this other part. Damage per hit is increased to 3,297. Okay, so I got... What is it before? Is it just counteracting the attack interval decrease? Is it the same DPS? But now it's going to be worse against swarms of stuff that it's overkilling? Okay, yeah. Interesting. Fortress! HP increased by 3%. Okay, so all the giant units get buffed. An improved Fortress. Card effect is adjusted to the HP of the fortress is increased by 50%, the attack is increased by 30, and move speed is increased by 3, but recruitment costs increased by 100. I don't know what this was before. Hmm. Steel ball. Attack increased by 10%. Whoa. New technology. Heavy target. Decrease range by 10. When switching target, lock on priority given to the unit with the highest HP and range. Whoa, that's cool. Huh. Range? Hmm, it's decreased range by 10. So it makes it a lot better at dealing with rhinos backed by a swarm of crawlers. But it still needs to get in range, and it's losing range. It goes to like 30 range, right? Thirty-five starts at forty-five. Balls can properly giant target giants now. Giants now, but not overlords. Sort of. You still gotta get them there, which might be hard. Like as long as the giants are behind fangs or crawlers, you're still gonna have the issue. I think this is just Rhino that it really matters for. Maybe Sledges with like Sledge Fang. Because those end up in the same range roughly. I don't know. I'll definitely spec this on my Steel Balls and see how it feels. What does it cost? 200. Um, extended range steel ball removed from the game. Wait. But it's not? What? Is there another... The card? Oh, is there a card just for extended range on steel ball? I didn't know that. Huh. You never get it, yeah. <laughs> just completely blanked it, I guess. Oh, I think I missed this. The effective improved steel ball adjusted to steel balls. Attack increased by 50%. HP increased by 30. Movement increased by 3. Recruitment cost increased by 50. This increased the recruitment cost by 100 before, right? I don't know if the numbers elsewhere changed. Fun though, <laughs> 150 range lasers. Yeah. Maybe it would have gotten taken with heavy target. Uh, Wasp. New technology. Air defense specialization. Attack against air units increased by 75%, and range when attacking air units is increased by 30. So now wasps are another answer to phoenixes. They're still bad into overlords right 
Hold up. Range is increased by 30. That gets them to 80, which is still in range of Overlord. But I guess they won't get targeted as quick. Huh. I wonder if I should take that instead of range enhancement. I'll spec that. They start shooting faster, which is important. Yeah. That is true. The big issue they have is they just all get blown up. Like, I would usually prefer to go Phoenix, just because Phoenix is actually shoot out of range when you get the range upgrade. I don't know if I'd want to... I guess if I already have Wasps laying around. It could matter a lot. It's a nuke card. Yeah, they removed nuke from the, the tower. Uh, fang, attack, adjust. They buffed fangs? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Huh. What does that matter for? 54 to 55 is such a weird, a weird change. Does it make some things round differently? Or is it just a 2% damage boost? Does this like hit a breakpoint on killing crawlers? Crawlers have 261 HP. Uh, calc. 261 divided by 55 takes five shots. Two sixty one divided by fifty four. Oh, my God, I cannot, I cannot type. No, it's still four shots or five shots. This doesn't let them like let them kill shields two percent faster. They still get eaten by the armor upgrades. Huh. Hacker! Hacker's attack increased by 6%. The effect of multiple control is adjusted to the range of the hacker is reduced by 25, but 5 control beams can be fired. Control efficiency is 17% in the original. This was 18, right? So they nerfed multiple control? I think. But like still a buff overall, I think. You thought it was 15? Yeah, I don't know, I'm going off memory. The XP of destroying the core structure has been reduced to 100, which is the same as the experience value of killing a squad of crawlers. Okay, so this makes the turn two wasp flank a lot worse, because you don't get level two wasps as easily. I don't know what the XP was before, but it was already sometimes not enough. Now it will be not enough even more often. Which means it's a lot easier to just answer the uh, wasps with a set of mustangs. Rather than needing to like Mustang plus defense upgrade or Mustang and grab one of the Mustang upgrades. Adjusted duration of the paralyzed state after the core building is destroyed from 13 to 9 seconds. Okay. Huh. So rushing the tower. It's still really good to rush the tower early in the fight but it matters a little bit less when there's fewer units remaining. Not immediately game over now. Well, it still kind of is, right? Like, if the tower gets popped while the main engagement is happening, you're still gonna die. But now if the tower gets popped and there's like some cross map stuff that needs to happen before the engagement happens again, it's more likely that the tower effect is going to wear off before 
the engagement happens. Like, the worst feeling is when you pop the opponent's tower, and they just start attacking your tower. So their tower gets popped, your army starts moving over, and then when your army is, like, halfway across the map, your tower gets popped, because of the, the reduced attack makes them kill your tower slower. And then by the time the engagement happens, there's, like, five seconds left on your tower being down, and you just get destroyed because of it. But theoretically, this will happen less now. Towers. Towers were 500. Oh my. Yeah, that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, that makes the wasp flank turn 2 way less exciting. You're just never going to have level 2 wasps on turn 3. Uh, now when the two core buildings are destroyed in short time, the duration of the paralyzed state will stack. That's cool, sure. HP of core buildings increased. I'm reading this out of order because these <laughs> the bolds are really confusing me. Uh, nuke was removed from the research center and became a reinforcement card between rounds. Sticky oil bombs are in the research center. Cool time of three rounds cost 150. Huh. For 150. I wonder when you're supposed to pick this up. Like, how often are you going to buy this instead of one of the 10% upgrades? I guess what comps is Sticky Oil especially good against? I don't know if I ever took the Sticky Oil card. Probably one of my blind spots. The Fang changes for the Hacker matchup. They kill them with one less shot without one, le one extra attack damage. Interesting. Sticky Oil get your Stormcaller offense. That's fair. That is true. Does the Sticky Oil mean you get to hit moving crawlers? That's pretty huge. Fine changes for the hacker matchup. One less shot. That's... Hmm. But we're talking one less shot when the amount of shots needed to kill the hacker is like... 50, right? And there's the shield to work through. Like... The reason why fangs are good, the hackers are good against fangs is in large part because of the shield. I don't know. Uh, where are we here? New starting specialist, heavy armor specialist, HP of all units increased by 17%. Three years, yeah. Interesting. Hey, Ladrian, thanks for the prime. Thanks for the 36. Welcome back. Just to the effect of elite specialist, obtain 50 extra supplies in the first round, able to immediately recruit level 2 units. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever taken an elite specialist. I'm always so scared that the breakpoints are going to screw me. Hmm. I'll try taking it. Adjusted cost control, HP and attack reduction from 15 to 13. That's a buff. That is certainly a buff. Lead specialist is good, but the early game is rough. I could see it. The early turns are definitely the scariest. All of the units cost more. So, like, it's harder to stay flexible. Uh, starting specialist HP adjustments. Oh, hey, this one's bolded correctly. Supply specialist health bonus adjusted from 0 to minus 300. Cool. Air specialist health bonus adjusted from 400 to 300. Rhino specialist 200 to minus 400. <laughs> Fair. Cost control 0 to 200. It's another buff to cost control. Okay. Starting units adjusted player health bonuses for most starting units based on the latest win rate stats. Wait, oh, is that just summarizing this? Okay. Lightning Storm priced to 350. Air specialists no longer appear in reinforcement cards between rounds. Okay. I've taken it like once or twice, but 
Yeah, I don't know. I also start the game on Air Specialist a lot. So I don't have the option to take it most of the time. Uh, just did the damage reduction effect of photon effects from 55 to 50. Cool, cool. Added elite variant cards for most non-giant units, appearing only after round 5, allowing direct recruitment of level 3 units. Elite variant cards. Oh, so like the uh, level 5 crawler card? Early it can unlock Overlord. It can, it can. It still costs 100 to take, right? Or 150 to take? So, like, if you're going Overlord, it's a 50 discount. And you get some range out of the deal. Other slightly optimized performance of the unit transformation scene. Both auto match and tournaments have spectator delay enabled by default. Slightly adjusted the rules for obtaining combat power in tournament. Now high scoring players will no longer lose significantly more points than they score. Fixed an issue where photon effects of different sources could stack. Okay, this is, uh... We must remember. No more photon stacking. It is dead. And those are the patch notes. So what were the big winners? Hacker's kind of a big winner. 6% is... A bigger buff than most things got. As small as it sounds. It like kind of adds up when you have multiple hackers going too. Um, oh, the melting point got marginally better against Overlord. One of the issues that I had with going melting point against Overlords is when melt when the uh, Overlord player gets Mothership, the Wasp serve as a really good distraction from the melting point damage. I don't know if the range changes that interaction much. Yeah, Rhinos are the biggest loser. <laughs> rhinos. I'm not going to say Rhinos are bad now, but they are no longer what they were. Poor guy. God, the breakpoints don't even work anymore. How much is a Rhino? The cost of the Rhino is the same, but all the upgrades went up in price. Still decent for flank. Yeah, I could see that. It's more expensive to go flank Blitz Rhino now, but only by 50. It's definitely harder to justify if you're not also going to be putting Rhinos in your front line. Like, do you really want to spend the 50 to unlock the Rhino? 200 on the Rhino, and then 300 on Final Blitz, just to have a Rhino in their flank. I don't know. Free round if you catch him off guard with a random Rhino. Yeah. Sorta. Definitely interested in seeing how this has you line up. Very expensive for a free round. Well, if you're just going for the free round, it's 250. It's just unlock the Rhino, plop down the Rhino. You don't need the Explodey until they try to counter it. And then you're taking Explodey to trade with whatever they threw down. So like, they throw down Steel Balls, you throw down the Explosion, and you paid 300 to trade with their 200. Which doesn't sound very good. <laughs> now that I say it out loud. But like, maybe you... Ugh, the Wasp Plank just seems so much worse now. Kind of cost of the mobile beacon. Yeah, yeah, if you need to buy the mobile beacon too. I think if you're doing it early, it's. You hopefully don't need the mobile beacon. They just like leave a line for you. Have we targets a sick upgrade? I hope. <laughs> I hope it's a sick upgrade. Just didn't change. Everything on Overlord got a bit worse. I already didn't go for giant units very much. Am I gonna go for giant units even less now? Hmm. 
What if hacker is the real giant unit? Okay, well, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back in like two minutes. When we get back, we will jam some ladder on the new patch. Hope you guys stick around.